Good morning, guys. I just got an iced matcha latte from Alfred, so give me a few moments to caffeinate because for this video, I'm gonna need it. I've gotten a few requests from some of you to make this video LA's trendiest neighborhood, West Hollywood. If your perception of LA is green lattes, Instagram culture, and TikTokers, you're probably thinking of this city. As pretentious as this city can be, I mean, come on, this is where Vanderpump Rules was filmed, which honestly is one of the greatest reality shows of all time. Guilty pleasure here. There is a lot to uncover about this hotspot. The last time I walked Melrose with a camera in my face, I got a couple shouts from people driving by, are you a vlogger? And let me be honest, I do not care for the attention that vlogging gets me in public, so that's why I'm hiding in my car right now. So today, I'm going undercover in LA's most sceny city, West Hollywood, California. <laughs> Incorporated in 1984, West Hollywood is actually not in the city of Los Angeles. It is its own city, so your mailing address would not be LA, it would be West Hollywood, California, which is also the case for some other cities like Santa Monica and my hood, Culver City. But still, being in LA County, we also still refer to it as LA. Just a fun fact for you there. And it doesn't get more LA than this. Okay, so since West Hollywood is pretty much a mecca for sceny Los Angeles culture, it's no wonder that a lot of brands do pop-up shops in West Hollywood. Right now, I'm gonna go meet my friend and we're actually gonna go try out Emma Chamberlain's pop-up shop for her brand Chamberlain Coffee. Not sponsored, but I am a fan of Emma myself, so if you are, let's go see what her coffee is all about here in WeHo. I've become quite the coffee addict since moving to LA and I love trying out new shops. Carrera Cafe hosted the pop-up for Chamberlain Coffee and I of course purchased my addiction, oat milk latte. And while I said those very millennial words, I couldn't help but wonder, where did oat milk lattes come from? It turns out, back when oat milk became popular a few years ago, the brand Oatly specifically shipped their milk to artisan coffee shops such as Intelligentsia and Blue Bottle to make it feel more trendy, and it totally worked. Amazing oat milk latte. Thank you, Emma Chamberlain. This is when I realized I will never be able to afford a house buying $7 oat milk lattes. And when in West Hollywood specifically, you gotta get your pics for Instagram. I'm kinda kidding, but you know what I mean. And speaking of Instagram, you may have seen the LA walls, such as the Paul Smith pink wall. Now listen, we all have our own opinions, but I would argue that in 2022, taking pictures in front of walls and posting them on Instagram is what Gen Z would now call chuggy. Melrose Avenue, part of the Design District, one of LA's most famous streets, it's full of dining, entertainment, and of course, shopping in true LA fashion. And even some fashionable looking buildings, like the lovely Pacific Design Center, which is mainly used for showrooms for businesses here in the Arts District. For some reason, there's valet parking at every restaurant on Melrose. I still struggle to understand the concept of valet parking. I just wanna park myself. And now I am in probably the most famous landmark here in Los Angeles, the back lot of Sur, AKA where all of the drama happened in Vanderpump Rules. I can almost hear the fights from Jax and Stassi and Tom and all those crazy reality individuals. Do not say Stassi, you are I don't know what I did to you, but I'll take a Pinot Grigio. Okay guys, walking past Craig's, the most sceny restaurant in all of Los Angeles. In all seriousness, I've heard it is hella overrated, but it's where the rich and famous love to dine and get photographed by the paparazzi. I have survived my walk on Melrose without anyone asking me what I'm filming or am I a social media influencer? Thank God. <laughs> I gotta go relax, so let's go to some parks. 
and there's two main ones I can think of at the moment. The first being where I am right now in Plummer Park. West Hollywood is pretty sporty. People are very much into fitness here. Here you can rent tennis and pickleball courts. A good place to relax underneath some palm trees. Yes, I'm a slow coffee drinker because you gotta savor every sip. Park number two, West Hollywood Park, the city's newly built park, which honestly at this stage in its life isn't too, too impressive, but it's a good step in the right direction for more greenery here in Los Angeles. But it does have one very unique factor, a dog park. <laughs> It would be a lot better if people actually came to this park and laid out, you know? I'd probably rather lounge at Silver Lake Meadow instead. Anyway, aside from all of the vloggers walking Melrose and reality TV moments, West Hollywood is known as the biggest LGBT hub in Los Angeles. And honestly, maybe California. 40% of residents in West Hollywood identify as LGBT. So now let's go walk Santa Monica Boulevard, officially formally known as the Rainbow District. And this goes back to the 1960s before the New York Stonewall riots, where many residents started to become more vocal about gay rights. Social gatherings for a pride group began happening at a West Hollywood bar called The Hub, and the rest is history. Today, Santa Monica Boulevard is full of modern day gay bars and honestly, probably the best place to go bar hopping in Los Angeles because it is not a walkable city to begin with. And the world famous Abbey, of course, is not only a bar and restaurant, but a community center and has become quite famous even with straight people. Passing by Tom Tom yet again. I did see Lisa Vanderpump in there once got a photograph with her. She was sitting front and center in her restaurant, obviously looking for the attention. I mean, come on. Are you a Vanderpump Rules fan, by the way? If so, leave a comment. There's also Pump here on Santa Monica Boulevard next to Tom Tom, which has some great cocktails as well. Very strong. I went there last night with my friend and got a little buzzed, got a little too buzzed. All right, the Sunset Strip. The Sunset Strip is a 1.7 mile stretch of Sunset Boulevard that passes through the city of West Hollywood. It is truly an iconic street with so much history, home to venues such as Whiskey A Go Go, which is a live music venue responsible for launching the careers of musicians of every genre in the 1960s. Literally an icon in LA. The Sunset Strip is a prime shopping location with LA icons like Fred Siegel, a retail clothing brand that labels itself as pop culture clothing since 1961. And as seen on Clueless, they make a fair point. Where's my white collar? Oh, and the Oppenheim Group is here on Sunset, so it's full of pop culture drama. If you're looking to work out with the celebrities, look no further than the Equinox West Hollywood. If only I myself could justify paying $300 a month or however much it is, my life would be pretty luxurious. What the hell is that? Seriously, what are these robot things all over the street? What the? Oh, not at me. So it seems to have gone the wrong way and now it's crossing to the coffee bean. This thing's gotta get some coffee. What is this? On delivery, all right. What are you delivering? Patiently waiting on my dreams to come. Is this for real? Oh. 
butcher the baker and the cappuccino maker. Great brunch spot, but hella crowded. Okay, and on the Sunset Strip, I just came across Prince Street Pizza, and I cannot pass it and not try out the pizza. So I am parked and gonna go over. Although this parking sign, if you know anything about Los Angeles, looks fake. Two hour parking, okay, and what? What are the times? <laughs> I hope this is real and not just... No, it's, it's fine, let's go. What do we got here? We got the Sunset Square and the, what was this, the margarita? They definitely do try to make it feel like a New York pizzeria because of the lack of seating and the celebrity images all stamped against the wall. So, again, kind of creating an illusion here in West Hollywood that it's not like the real deal. Let's try it. It's not too bad. It's quite good. I think the problem is, I don't, I, I truly don't think it's as good as like a New York slice, but for LA, it's a good eight or nine out of 10. How did I just spend $15 on pizza though? Shoot, now I gotta go work off that pizza. So we're going for a hike. Okay, on the border of West Hollywood is, of course, Runyon Canyon Park. While not actually in the city of WeHo, more so Hollywood, this hike fits the aesthetic pretty well as it's a popular spot for Angelinos to not only hike, but some to show off their bods and full of celebrity sightings. And I'm not only talking people. There she is. I do like to make fun of Runyon in some of my videos because I feel like it's not really a real hike. It's more of an Instagram hike. But I think, you know, Instagram culture kind of made it that way because all in all, it's still a really beautiful park with awesome views of Los Angeles. Honestly, some of the best you're gonna get in the city. Whoever lives in this house, damn. Okay, so West Hollywood is a crazy place. A place where robots walk the streets, influencers run amok looking for Instagram walls, reality TV shows hop in, celebrities host pop-up shops around the city, and overall, just very stereotypical Los Angeles culture. And while it all may seem like an illusion, it's also a very welcoming place. A very large LGBT population acting as a safe space, very tourist friendly, with great dining and shopping, and of course, welcoming views of the city of Los Angeles. Even though this isn't technically West Hollywood, but we will pretend right now. It is quite something. Okay, made it to the top of Runyon. I swear when people get to the top of Runyon, they Instagram it as if they just climbed Mount Everest. So, Instagram versus reality. Well, I get why it's a great place to promote on social media because this place is something else. And just like true LA culture, hit that like button if you learned something today. Subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more LA videos. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time.